That's a good team, and you beat them by 32 points. How'd you do it? Well, I mean, I, I give our guys a lot of credit. You know, it helps when you make shots and the ball goes in. Of course, it's going to energize your group. You know, you make 17 threes, it's, that's an impactful thing. But, I, you know, I mentioned it you know, right after the game, our, our overall focus from not just start to finish, but it started this morning. There, there was just a heightened level of uh, attention to detail, and we didn't do a whole lot. But we knew we were going to have to throw different things, you know, at their guys because they are such a prolific offensive team that it's going to be a little different. And the fact that they could, you know, kind of retain it and apply it, it's a, it's a great sign. Um, you know, it's, it's some things we haven't really done a ton of. Um, and there were some new things. I'm not going to necessarily say what those were. But uh, the fact that we were able to, you know, go out and apply them and, and do it at a high level, I thought it was very impactful. You guys have now won four or five. It's the best stretch you've had in a couple months. What's been the winning formula recently? I mean, it's easy to say the ball goes in, but, you know, we've done a decent job defensively over this stretch. Um, but I think a, a lot of that is our ball movement, you know, which, which has helped our overall offensive efficiency. You know, another night we've had 30 plus assists. Um, you know, that, that's a, it's a winning formula. You know, everybody's touching it, the ball's moving. And, you know, when, when that happens, it puts a lot of pressure on the defense. And it's just a, a mentality, and I think our guys are buying into it, and it's, it's paid dividends. Wes, with moving the ball around, you, you kind of mentioned, um, you know, just the attention to detail there. I, I think you guys were only credited with nine turnovers, and there was that bad stretch at the end of the third. For the most part, yeah. you guys protected the ball well. What was the key to that? Well, I, I, there was. I mean, there were, I think there were like four possessions there, and thankfully they were all dead ball turnovers. So you, you didn't really pay the, the price that you sometimes fall into with, with, the, with the live ball turnovers. But... Um, no, I just think it's, um, you know, of course we talk about it, you know, and a lot of it's our spacing, the timing um, or lack thereof that usually lends to those turnovers. Uh, and, and that stretch of turnovers, there, there was no one trying to press the issue. They're trying to make plays for each other and you had a bad bounce, you know, maybe a, you know, uh, you know, mistimed pass, but it wasn't anything where guys are playing in crowds or we weren't necessarily organized. But, you know, the fact that we could recover from that. Uh, was a good sign. We didn't let it linger. We think next play, we were able to regroup. Tonight was the most points that KCP scored as a wizard. I mean, what did you make of his performance tonight? We got going early, and, you know, he, he didn't force the issue. He just took advantage of the shots that were, were presented to him. And then once he sees a couple go in, now he's shooting into a big basket, you know, and he's had nights like that throughout his career. Um, you get hot like that, you know, it's good to take a heat check. And the ball keeps going in. It's Those are great momentum plays for us. Um, and they're back-breaking for the defense. Yes, but this is one of really better games. I think he's had, uh, you know, a number of really solid, you know, uh, from start to finish performances. Um, you know, obviously scored the ball, you know, they shot it well. But he, he's just falling right into the same mindset of, you know, the ball movement, uh, finding the, the next man, being decisive with, you know, uh, when the ball finds him, he's not, not holding it. And I, I like his level of aggression. I'm sure, you know, anyone would be happy to, you know, beat the team that you felt, you know, traded you or whatever, you know, happens like that. It's just a natural emotion. Um, but the bigger picture was he didn't let that consume him. He was concerned with team play. Um, um, the fact that it, it, it didn't override, you know, the, the fact that it was us versus them, not him versus them, uh, which is uh, a sign of maturity that, you know, he didn't go out and he wasn't pressing. Um, he didn't try to, you know, do too much and get himself in trouble. He let it come to him. Uh, he knew that he was going to be a big part of what we do. But, you know, from the beginning of the game, it, it, it was all about us. What do you make of Corey's plus 30? That's a heck of a number. Uh, and granted, you know, he's out there and, and, you know, had great runs. So, but he's a part of that. Um, you know, whether it's his shot making, his ball movement, um, and defensively, he did it. I thought a really good job. You know, we, we, we tasked him with guarding Luca at times. And um, that's not an easy, easy feat for anyone. Um, of course, it's a five man coverage, but if you're the guy on the ball, it, it garners a lot of attention. You know, him, Pope, Denny, you know, even Rui, all of them got a crack at it. Um, but sending different, bodies or waves of bodies, you know, to, 
to Luca is important. He still had 36 points. So um, it just shows you the caliber of player that he is. But uh, I thought overall, Corey was great. Neil? They're going to be a full roster by, by this time. So, uh, KP has always talked about when he got here first, you know, everybody welcomed him, you know, with full arms, everything like that. Do you think that the focus the team showed, just knowing that, okay, this is his former team, do you think that had any carryover effect to just the result tonight? I, I'm sure it did. I mean, it's um, it, it wasn't on full display. I don't think it was one of those things where guys felt pressure to, you know, do anything more or – but. I think you know, we all know, and um, I think a lot of those guys have been in that situation. So they understand the value of that and what that means to a player, uh, to a teammate. So I'm sure it played in some part. And I know still somewhat a bit of a small sample size for Denny and his three-point shooting, but in this past, you know, say seven to 10 game stretch where he is shooting it well, do you think that's kind of more true to who he can be as a shooter? No, I hope so. I mean, and it's not by accident. It puts a lot of time in it. Um, a lot of extra work before and after practice. Um, not just, you know, you know, spot shots, but, you know, off the move and kind of, you know, making sure he breaks down and his form is consistent. Uh, I think he's just shooting it with a level of confidence, and that's a big piece for him. Season high for you. Uh, tied a career high four straight games with 20-plus points. What's been working for you lately? Um, just playing free. Um, the ball is moving. It's not sticking just with one person. Uh, I think this is the second night we've had, I want to say, 30-plus assists, something like that. Um, uh, just been good. The ball is moving. You know, everybody's out there just having fun playing for each other. Speaking of playing for each other, what was it like to get KP the win against the team that traded him just a couple months ago? Oh, it was great. I told him uh, before we uh, – after they uh, introduced us, and uh, we called up the huddle. I told him, you know, KP, you know, since they let you go, we're going we're gonna to beat them up for you. So, you know, that was the first thing I said to him, you know, and we, and we did exactly that. Do you feel like that person is going to get people had that money before you said what you said? Yeah. I mean, even uh, when we had shoot around this morning, you know, everybody was focused and everybody was locked in. Uh, it, it just was a, a, a different sense of urgency uh, that we had uh, in shoot around, and then it just was carryover. After that, um, everybody knew what we uh, what the game plan was. Uh, Pat, you know, our defensive coach, you know, he he had a great game plan for us, and we executed. And we also also threw in uh, some on defense that we just threw in the, this morning and shoot around, and we made it work. You know, so that was you know hats off to the coaches and stuff uh, and and what they did. Since Rudy returned uh, to play, what kind of growth have you seen? Oh, man. See him rarely miss. You know, he's uh, – I mean, I have been just playing against him in a previous years. Uh, and actually just playing with him now. You know, he's – I feel like his game is just – it's elevating, you know, each, you know, uh, each and every day. Uh, you know, he's playing great, you know, on, on both sides of the uh, ball. And that's exactly what we're looking for from him. You know, stay aggressive, you know, and, and defend. Sure. Uh, it is Kareem. It, it is. Tell me more about that. It's more about his, his quote, you know, and what it says. Uh, it's about peace, my uh, mindset. Um, so finding yourself. Um, thought it was a great, you know, quote. Uh, and Kareem, you know, one of the greatest of all times, you know, so it's a great shirt to have for me. Follow up. Ever since I've heard this song on the radio, I thought of you. What's your pick? Uh, how influential is that song? Uh, let's give about 50%. Half. <laughs> it's a great, you know, song. Um, at first, I was going no headband, Pope. You know, which was you know I, I was referring to, to the put the, the that song, but uh, it's a great song. I would say, you know, I like it. You know, you know the team like it. It's a great song to just listen to in the locker room before a game. What was it like going up against Spencer? Uh, it was great. 
It was great. I also t- told my teammates that he he wouldn't come in here and get no win either. So uh, <laughs> hats off to uh, my teammates, you know, for for just you know being focused uh, and 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 carrying the game plan over from shoot around that we had. We got a Christos. Hey, can she be great game, great win for Seoul. Uh, is this a type of game that every everybody clicking was clicking uh, from your perspective? How how you see the game overall? Uh, like you said, every, everybody was on the same page. Um, we we just had a great carryover from shoot around. You know, everybody still was focused. Everybody played for one another. I want to say everybody at least got an assist, but besides me. <laughs> <laughs> which I thought I had an assist, but uh, I mean, it was just great. You know, the ball was moving uh, and we just, like I said earlier, we was out there just having fun and just enjoying playing basketball. And with games like this until the end of the regular season, what kind of foundation you would like to build for the next season? Um, I mean, we just want to stay consistent. You know, this is uh, the most, I, I feel like we've been consistent on the court with each other. You know, uh, passing the ball, you know, uh, having great movement, you know, helping each other out on defense. Um, I feel like we just got to continue to keep that chemistry going uh, and just play for uh, each other. All right, last question, Neil. Hey, KCP, just how big is the basket feel to you right now these past four games? You're, you know, shooting it really well on all your jump shots. Uh, I mean, the basket is... is, is as big as the ocean, you know, as big as I want it to be. Yeah. The more I feel like I'm in a rhythm, the more the ball going to go in. Uh, I'm very confident within my shots. Uh, and I work at it, you know, I'm shooting every day, uh, in practice, out of practice, you know, when I don't have practice. Uh, so you no, know, it's just repetition and rhythm for me. And for Spencer, you know, he made some comments that uh, he was kind of told to be more of a facilitator for you and Kuz. I guess from your sense and perspective, do you feel like that was the case or do you guys feel like there was a miscommunication and that's kind of where things went awry? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I, 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 if I had to guess miscommunication. Um, but I don't I don't know. Uh, that's something that you know, Spence had going on and and what the coaches wanted him to do. You guys got the win against your former team and convincingly, uh, how was that for you? Yeah, good, uh, we're happy. Um, obviously, you know, we're, we're out of the, the play-in uh, contention, but uh, but it was, a, it was a fun game. I think from the beginning, everybody had a bit more juice because, you know, of the trade and all that. Um, for me, it was, it was cool to compete against my old team. Uh, they know my strengths and weaknesses and and to see what they were going to take away and how they were going to play me and just to compete against a high-level team like Dallas. So uh, it was really cool. Even though you seem to to really like being here and playing here, was there motivation going up against a team that traded you away? Yeah, of course. It's like, the thing is, like, I, I, I'm I'm happy I'm here. You know, I'm really, I, I really, I, uh, but still, it's always kind of more fun to play against the former team. Um no matter what the circumstances were and how it happened, but it's it's always just it's always a good a good challenge, and especially you know a team that's that's so good and that's that has so much talent. Uh, but I think yeah, we just came out uh, prepared, locked in, um, and 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 from the beginning just kind of started building that that momentum. And they had their moments where they kind of got a bit closer, but but we stuck with it, and and at the end we got we got the win. He mentioned to us, he volunteered this, that he said to you before the game, uh, since they let you go, we're going to beat up on him before he comes. They would praise him there. Do you recall him saying that? And if he did say that, what did that mean to you? Be, beat up on who? On the mat. He, win the game convincingly. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, what I liked is everybody had my back today. You know, like they knew, they knew it was a, it's a, it's a, it's, I don't want to say like a personal game, but it's, oh, as I said, it's always fun to compete against your, former team and and yeah and everybody had my get back Pope played incredible tonight um everybody brought it whoever came in played with high energy and protected the home court um Denny and and Rui I I, I love what I'm seeing from them they're playing hard and, and playing well and um 
And yeah, it was a it was a team it was a team effort. What's it been like uh, being kind of? I mean, I know KCP had the most points in the game, but you've been one of the primary scoring options on this team and uh, developing chemistry with your teammates and winning four of the last five games. Just being a central part of that. Mm. I know. I I enjoy playing with these guys, and you know we're we're missing we're missing guys also. You know, Brad is still out, and uh and and hopefully he stays, and and you know we can really take it to the next level going into next season. Um, but with what we have now, we're we're uh, we're competing hard. We're playing well. Um, I think everybody has taken a step. Everybody in the organization has kind of uh, upped their level a little bit, and and that's that's what we are looking forward to. You know, and um. Uh, yeah, Pope is, Pope's been shooting the ball super well, and, and yeah, every, everybody, everybody's just picking up their 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 swagger, and and, uh, and that's what's important, you know, going into next season to bring that momentum. Just like I don't want to compare us to Phoenix, but Phoenix, what they did in the bubble, you know, they kind of they went undefeated, they didn't they didn't make the playoffs, but but uh, you know they they took the next level the next year, and, and, and you know that's I think it's important to finish strong, finish the season strong, and have that. Um, peace of mind going into the off season and 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 but but have that confidence that okay next year we're taking another step forward. Is there anything about Drewy's game that surprised you after coming to North Japan and playing with him? Yeah, I think uh, he was still kind of finding his rhythm early, especially when I didn't play. Uh, but now the more I play with him, the, each game he's he's getting more and more comfortable, and I really like I really like his game. He still. He still has like things to learn, as we all do. But he's he's still young, and he still um, has to make sometimes the the right reads. But uh, but if he keeps going, if he keeps working on his game, uh, and 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 brings it every night, he can be he can be a really special player. The areas where you guys are mainly decision making. Yeah, he's uh, he's really good at drawing attention. I keep telling him to him, and and people come in on on these drives and and. You know, and that's when he can make the next play for his teammate. You know, and um, and that's going to be you know the next step for him to to find those next plays and and and, and trusting his teammates and making the next next play. I think that we didn't get along off the court. You know, that we were like, there's no, there's no issue, you know, between us. We're super cool. We always hang out. And uh, I, I would say that's the biggest misconception. Um, Luke is a cool dude. He's, you know, hangs out. He's just super chill, so it's hard not to be cool with him, you know. Um, that's the only thing I would say. Um, but yeah, you know, it's sometimes it just doesn't work out the way the way everybody expects or the way we saw it, and it is what it is. And um, it, it was cool to play against, uh, play with a generational superstar talent like him, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's in the past now, and. And uh, I'm excited to be here and and and, and uh, you know have uh, have this opportunity now uh, now to play with Washington. What's the biggest or the coolest thing that you have said to the coach? The coolest thing? Mm. Yeah. Um, you know what? Like. Low key, I I love the city a lot. Like I don't know why I haven't even like seen that much. I've done that many things because I've been playing, but just driving driving around at night, like I don't know why I I really enjoy the city. Kind of reminds me. Some parts of it reminds me like Europe. Some parts remind me of um, New York. You know, it's kind of like a mixture of things for me. And 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 the architect architecture is is really cool. I, I that's something I always enjoy no matter where I go. But um, I would say Washington has a really, really, um, the city has like good style in my eyes. Cool. Yes, sir. Brad. Hey, KP. Uh, good to see you again. Uh, you've actually, you've obviously had a lot of time to think about it now. And I don't know if uh, playing against the Mavs 
tonight brought you any closure, uh, but how would you summarize your time in Dallas uh, and the way it ended? Um, I think I think we had like really good moments with with Dallas, and we had a lot of fun playing there. I had a lot of fun. I I connected with so many people super well there, and I miss I miss a lot a lot of relationships that I built in Dallas. Um, it, it you know it didn't end the way maybe or it didn't go the way everybody expected and sometimes it happens like that in life um i don't know i don't have i i just have positive memories from dallas honestly you know everybody treated me super well uh, mark nico um and it's just a part of business you know and and, and that's it I, I the only thing i could say is i i miss uh, the people, the relationships I built, and I miss Dallas weather. <laughs> Appreciate it. All right, we'll do last question, Neil. Hey, KP, um, just what was it like talking to, you know, all the Latvian fans that were there and just, you know, did you realize how many fans there would be out there? The Latvian, uh, Latvian heritage? Yep. Yeah, no, I didn't expect that many people. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't check the stands too much today to see like the flags I usually do. Uh, today I was kind of I don't know, maybe like super locked in on the game, whatever. But uh, I didn't. I didn't see how many flags there were, so I didn't know what to expect. But uh, but it was really cool to see that many people to come here and, and support. And I didn't even know there were you know that many Latvian Latvians or Latvian Americans here. So uh, it was really cool, and, and, and I hope to see many more Latvians at the games. And, you know, you've talked about, okay, it's still important to finish this stretch strong and things like that, even though you guys are, you know, officially eliminated. How do you convey that to the young guys that, okay, it's still about building the right habits and skills these last few games? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think for them, it's, it has to be natural. You know, those guys are, as a young guy, you're always trying to prove what you can do in the league. So there's no nights off or, okay, like some veteran players, maybe we like, okay, you know, this we're not fighting for you know m m anything but um but it's still it's still you know it's, everybody's very professional to hear from the player side and, and everybody's bringing it every night so um but for young guys they, these games are you know just like another game as the, the way i look at it so uh, they have to go out there prove prove each and every night what they're capable of and, and show to to the, to the team and to the rest of the league that you know they're here to they're here to stay and they have a value in this league